Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Unfortunately, we're not going to have Trans Am content. He said no. Wrong. All the stuff, you know, that goes into having a hobby car like this or the Corvette or anything, it's all extra. And lately, there's been a lot of real life stuff that's been taking up pretty much all the free time and ambition that I've got. The truck behind me that you've seen in other videos, um, it's had some problems. You saw in one video that it wouldn't cold start. I ended up replacing all eight spark plugs in it, which were actually completely gone. The tips were on all of them. I'll show you those here. If you'll notice there, the tips are completely gone. It's amazing. All eight of them. It's probably hard to tell. Let me zoom in for you here. Yeah, that's as good of a view as I'm going to be able to get you, but it's actually inside of the insulator, like in the porcelain there. All eight of them are like that. Now, what it ended up actually being is this idle air control motor right here, which is all full of carbon like you might expect it to be. This idle air control motor wasn't working on the car or the truck, and it wouldn't cold start replacing this. It's been fine ever since. But since that happened, the radiator let go on it and it's been slowly leaking a little bit on the driver's side. So I've got a replacement radiator. Um, what else have I got? A cap for the radiator inside of the truck, and I've also got an air filter. The other thing I'm gonna do today is sea foam the engine. I haven't uploaded in a long time, but I feel like this was a good little update because it's been probably about a month, and I've been talking about buying a Corvette, which isn't gonna happen, and I'll, and I'll tell you why later in the video. Hopefully you understand, but I do have good reasons for it, and they might make sense by the end of the video. So. Let's get into seafoaming the truck, and we'll talk a little bit more about what's been going on with this and other stuff, and what's going to happen in the future. What we're going to use is this regular can of seafoam to clean the upper cylinder head and, I guess, combustion chamber of all the cylinders in this truck. If you do want to see more about why I'm going to use seafoam, or if you do or don't believe it, check out Project Farm's YouTube page. I've used this stuff for years, but he gives you a really good independent DIY breakdown of why you should do it, how well it works, and... Yeah, really, really good job. Check out Project Farm's channel, it's awesome. So thanks, Doug, for pointing it out to me. And I'm gonna clean up the truck's engine a little bit. Um, not gonna walk you how, through to, how to do this exactly. It's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna pour about a third of this through the throttle body, let the truck sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, the engine is warm right now, which is important. And then uh, we'll give her a cold start. And that's really the payoff, is watching the, gigant, the gigantic clouds of white smoke that come out of the uh, tailpipe, so. Hopefully gonna clean up the engine a little bit and then I'll get into changing the radiator. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all trust yeah no I don't want to waste what's left so what I'm gonna do is manipulate the throttle linkage to keep the engine running and uh, dump in about a third of this sea foam you'll see up here there's a throttle linkage I'm just gonna have to play with it while I'm pouring so I'll be off the camera and I'll put about a third of the bottle in there let it sit for a little bit and um, we'll uh, start it up again So no sooner was I talking about that truck being as unreliable as they come, but I just got done driving it all morning, parked it, one start. Uh, it seemed like the fuel pump wasn't engaging. I couldn't get it to stay running, even with starting fluid, it would fire up, rev up real high, and then shut right off. Now it's running. So 
Obviously I fit in that can like I was talking about. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple more minutes and we're gonna give it a start and see if we can't make it come back to life and run a little bit better. But we'll see, we'll have to go for a drive and clear. Drive and get it all cleared out of the system and um, see film that is. And we'll come back and start working on the radiator. So as you can see, we're gonna have to go for a little bit of a drive to clear all that out. It's pretty smoky, but um, that's normal for sea filming stuff. So if you haven't done it before, that's completely normal. Like I said, if you check out Project Farms channel, it really does clear out the cylinder heads and all the carbon deposits and stuff. So it's actually a pretty good thing to do to your car. So I'll get this unhooked and we'll go for a ride. Let's see if I can get you an idea of what's going on behind me driving. <laughs> it's pretty bad. But it, it'll smoke out a street. Yeah, you're supposed to run the truck or whatever vehicle you're doing it to pretty good after you do the uh, seafoam treatment to get that all burnt out of the cylinders and off your plugs and everything. But anyways, like I said, this truck is kind of an unreliable pile. Uh, nothing against Dodges, but this is the first Dodge gas here I've had and it's been nothing but strange problems that you can't keep away from with just maintenance. Like, like I said, the thing just didn't even start. I, I was driving it before then, you know, I set down the camera, I just backed it into the spot, it drove fine, started fine the last few weeks and it just, nothing. It's another small victory is having these remote control garage openers, so something else that got fixed up in the last couple weeks. But truck seems to be running really good. Um, can't say that anything's wrong with it, which is as to be expected because it was running fine before I parked the damn thing. But we're gonna pull it inside and we'll start working on this uh, little radiator install. Put in a uh, little LED shop light, replace the fluorescent one that was there. I still got a fluorescent one here, but I got a matching one for over here. My uh, my dad actually got me that one. It's super bright. Should take a little bit less current to run it and uh, put out a little bit more light. So I'm real happy with that. Now we got some decent light to work with over here, and more important bay, obviously, uh, thrown in too. The lights look a lot brighter on the camera than they are in person, um, but I will say that the LED light is. I don't know, at least twice as bright as the fluorescent one. So, super happy with that. I guess we'll get on to the rest of the install. it for today's video um, I had driven the truck a few times since I actually did the radiator install and the coolant lines and transmission cooler lines haven't been leaking at all so it actually went pretty good I'm gonna leave the video off here with the cold start of the Trans Am I probably haven't ran it for I don't know a month or better and uh, it was really late when I did it so sorry to all my neighbors it seemed like a good idea at the time and maybe it wasn't maybe it was 
Anyways, it was good to get that thing started. I'm looking forward to working on it. I do have StopTech rotors and Hawks HPS pads coming. They should be here by next weekend, so I'll have a video up of the Trans Am doing a brake job on it in the next week. So thanks for sticking around in the winter time. It's kind of hard to upload car footage because the garage isn't heated and there's nowhere to go drive anything. So thanks for staying subscribed and checking out every video that I upload. If you have any questions on the install of the radiator, which you probably don't, I'm sure you're not here to watch that, but make sure you drop a comment down below. I'm really good at getting back to everybody's questions and stuff like that. But anyways, if you're new to the channel and you liked it and we're looking forward to more Trans Am videos, give the video a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in about a week.